so of the Philippines. So one thing we can guarantee you is that it will be the Philippines against Taiwan in the final. Let's go to our first matchup between Efren Reyes and Francisco Bustamante. Bustamante, the number one seed, against the wily old Efren Reyes. He's 1-0 up, and he's well underway in this second rack. Let's join our commentary team now of Jim Weish and Sid Waddell. Thanks so much, lads, and uh, excellently set up uh, the old maestro and the, uh, the world's number one player who was formerly his pupil. And uh, taking up that point about the rack slightly higher because the yellow one was going into the middle bags. Uh, Reyes, last time out, stuttered a bit, could not get a productive break. Now, if he comes to terms with a higher racking, which he seems to have done, uh, those of us who stuck out our long Anglo-Saxon necks could get the heads chopped off. I tip Bustamante here because he can slaughter the break. Um, that was based on how S Efren struggled with his break. Um, that, I think, could be the fact that if Efren gets a productive break, one or two even, this could be absolutely down to the wire. Well, what a horrid miss from Reyes there. He didn't leave himself enough angle, and he knew it. But watch this. Just trying to pinch that pocket, and as big as they might be, sometimes you take liberties, and that one came up to bite Reyes. Massive crowd here. Uh, came and really got their bellies boiling when Jimmy White was playing. And maybe there's a few couple pool fans here in Cardiff who are going to call their kid Griffith Reese Griffiths. Well, now maybe call him the kid Francisco Efren Griffiths in a few months' time because these two blokes have certainly captured the public's imagination here in South Wales. Django, genius. Cordial off the pitch. Killer on that white surface. With the white on the blow. No fear in queuing and hurling the cue at shots, Jim. Well, certainly in terms of shot making, he may well have no equal in the world. Francisco Bustamante. In most people's minds, players and fans alike, the best player on the planet today, and Bustamante, by virtue of that horrid miss from Reyes, takes the second rack. Referee, uh, Michaela Tab, racks him up. Only 5-3, there were about six players, had a straight run. They played 5-1-5 five, five in that first round. Easy against Ellen. Uh, Rambi, that was a dice out. Uh, very, very strong Euro player, perhaps in Europe in the Moscone Cup uh, six months ago, Francisco. Bustamante's rival earlier, Fabio Petroni, he's been playing in Brighton. Right now, it couldn't be any better poise, Sid. Two racks to one for Bustamante, and he's breaking off in the fourth rack to try and extend that lead. And they went to Germany several years ago and made the local pool players keel over in the keel area as he blasted them for a really big Deutschmarks. Because make no mistake about it, this game is honed on the smell and colour of money. A dynamite break from Bustamante there. Again, everything moving and pinpoint accuracy on that cue ball. Years of honing that have turned him into a force all over the world. Yep, how do you get to the Cardiff International Arena? You practice. Left the rail a little more than he would have liked that one, Jim, but the very cute angle of the pocket took it in. Long bridge, no fear. Look at the length of the bridge here. Yeah, the bridge is about 18 inches long. The control. Well, Bustamante is yet to hit any bumps in the road. He's had a couple mistakes from Reyes, and he's pounced on both of them. Jet-eyed 
predator in action. Cool genius. Bust the money. He's got something to prove in this one. A man he probably grew up idolizing sits opposite. And Francisco Bustamante wants the throne. And he's been sitting with Efren having a quiet chat in a Cornish pasty before the game, surrounded by fans. They have autographed every excusable part of the anatomy of some young lads. Heroes in their own country and our guest to the 100 million who play this game all over the world. Nine ball pool. A flash game. If you could hit the balls like these guys, you would. Be the pool hall, Richard! As Rod Stewart once sung about. You make me jealous, but I worship you with your high colour and your high heel shoes. Well, it takes all sorts of play, but Busty here on so. Is he ever? An anxious moment on the eighth, but in the end, home and dry. A two rack lead and 3 1 now in front in this race to 11. Hunch there. Like a guy just sitting, thinking about having a cigar and a drink and watching his cone grow. 5-3 he did in the early rounds. Best win there, I think, is Suke win. 11-7 there. He ran eight straight to beat Suke, the former world champion. Yes, and you'll see there a 9-8 nail-biting win over the world win, Jimmy White. He's had a few anxious moments in this tournament too, has Reyes. I heard murmurs of this man, the great Mike Massey was the first one to mention Buster Manic to me when he'd been in a tournament in Vegas and this guy hit this racket 43 mile an hour. And he's about nine stone wet through. Well, a mistake, the first one from Francisco. And at 3-1 ahead, he'll work that one out, but watch that cue ball. He hit it good, Sid, but the pace of this table just drawing that cue ball into the center pocket. And he was watching it right off the start. Look at his eyes, right on it. Right, just the line to run four or five now, Heffron. Crowd absolutely hushed and tense watching this battle of the maestros. While Reyes patience in his seat waiting for his opportunity. Finally it comes. Bustamante put three racks together with Reyes's miss. Now it's down to Afrin to respond. There's no hard work here. It almost looks like he could leave the cue ball in the center of the table. The orange five is next. Side cushion, side cushion to come back down for the six. Nice and loose hold on the cue. Starts to stun across for the orange. Now he's got a choice, Sid. He can either play this left side cushion, right side cushion with a lot of bottom, or run around the table with a lot of inside English on the cue ball. And he's played it the way I thought first. Now he's got to clear the nine. Has he hit it hard enough? <laughs> Again. I'm sure his heart was in his mouth for a brief instant. Comes from a pretty rough background in terms of ec economic considerations. <coughs> Place called Mexico, Pampagna was brought up in, played money pool from the age of nine. Still plays to take home the bacon or Philippine equivalent to his family. Efren had a real character building match en route to the semi final. Akikumo Toshikawa in the quarters, 11 9, he progressed there and he really wasn't on song. He's hoping he saved his best when he needed it most. And that's in this one, Sid. Both players certainly seem to be breaking an awful lot better today, Sid. Now, I don't know whether Efren can get through to the one. If he can see enough of it, 
He may be able to play the combination, but another look at the splash on that diamond of balls. Neither one getting the nine in gear, though. The one eight present a combination or a plant, but can he see enough of the one to get it? Real sorry, you have to go for the low ball. Just gets the one. Plays the intermediate shot. And opens up the whole table now. Looking good for 3-3, three, three, Efren. Only a glaring mistake is going to stop that scoreline. Riez at 45 years of age, an icon in the Philippines. And it must be said, of 96 players who came here, at least 35 players had him down as their paradigm of the game. Well, he's such a gentleman. Rarely spoke, rarely speaks unless spoken to. Like, will you take a check? Or cash. <laughs> and there's a lot of people that Efren has faced off with in the game of nine ball. I guarantee you said that their pockets thought their hands were crazy. They were digging out their cash so fast. Well, the game is uh, much more organized. The authorities playing a great role in its worldwide spread, but they're still that edge. Won't use the word hustler because the Americans don't like it. To them, it means something to do with cheating. To us, Geordies, just means wide boy, sharp guy. Guy with limbo dance underneath the swing door. Exciting game. Now to be brought to balance. This one could go all the way. This race to 11 between two pool legends coming in with a bit of right hand side. And down goes the nine. And Reyes is putting pay to the bad break off from Bustamante. Lost the cue ball there. He's been a bit lucky. Does he have a shot at the one? Well, it's ominous for Busty because Efren was having all sorts of trouble with his break. Uh, the last time out, all right, he wrapped three in on the sync on the trot against Suke. But this, with this break in, it is enough to handle Bustamante, maybe even to beat him. Stuns the ball into the rail. He's got a lot of work to do here. Cue ball needs to be on the left-hand side for the red three next. You can see the three passes only to this pocket. And Reyes with so much angle on the two, he may have to play side cushion, side cushion to try and get back. Or what he could do is try and play the three into the center pocket here. That may be his only option. A deep screw with a lot of left hand side and position the key here. Screw it is. A little short of pace. He needed to be a little further down because the orange five is the wrong end of the table for him. The only thing I can see, if he decides to attack, he's got two choices. He's either got to bank this and run through with the cue ball or a deep screw using the nine with a lot of left-hand side off two cushions back for the five. There you go. That was a much better pot than he made it look. Well, a magician showing that there's nothing wrong with his wand here. Picking the right time to come good just as he did the other day against Suke. He was sat in his seat, 7-3 down, cobwebs around his shoes, then suddenly, Tinkerbell. Well, early, early indications in this one tell me that Efren Reyes came ready for this match. He's made some great shots already. 
Left himself in very uncomfortable situations, and this one doesn't look to be any different. He's so cautious, he doesn't want to touch that brown. Check Look at the cue ball power there. Incredible. Loaded up with side and swung that white back for the seven. Tremendous shot from Reyes. They label him the magician. And you've just seen an example why. That was his best break, and the first time he doesn't have a shot on the lowest numbered ball. He finally kept the cue ball in the middle. Didn't get a shot on a low ball. The two is the one he would like to have seen set up over a pocket. And nobody's saying anything about the way the rack is, how high it is now. And he's also getting the middle ball, getting the one to go in the middle. There's several factors looking very ominous for Mr. Money here. Not least the score line, 7-3 down. Well, one thing about it, Francisco's been shut out for so long, someone may have to remind him what the rules are. <laughs> yeah, I remember years ago, the great Leighton Reese was probably watching this at Ponty Priest. He was captain of a three-man Welsh team, and I said, what's the team talk? He said, win, just win. <laughs> That's about the psychology that Francie you don't need no more psychology than the bludgeon here. If you get up, you've got to run six or seven. What an ask if he does indeed get out of the seat. Oh, what a shot! Absolute brilliance by the maestro! Brings the crowd, really! Oh, what a shot! He wasn't on for the first time, and he put that in like a tracer bullet. The only problem is he's got an equally difficult shot here against the three, a very fine cut. And look at him spin that in around the back of the four. This is phenomenal stuff. Well, Merlin, there was Ed, used to cast a few spells down on the banks of the Taff. This is a wizard at work. Weaving magic with that wand of wood. The form that Efren Reyes is showing us right now is unbelievable, Sid. This is the stuff that legends are made of right here. World semi final against guy who most people read the best player in the world, Francisco Bustamante. And this man is doing just what he did to Suke, stringing them together like a blind fisherman mending a net. Experience dominant here. Sometimes he wheels the right, yeah. Sometimes the skin do. Sometimes it's as fine as the smallest darning needle. Precision, immaculate control. Meanwhile, Busty sits and contemplates. Forgets the rules. Well, this is the first time I've had the pleasure I've seen someone use that cue like a magic wand. But this is something to behold, the way he's playing right now. He is in the zone. Eight, three, seven racks in a row.
The long one. And he's going to be bridging right over the four ball. He's five racks clear, so certainly he's got to be feeling comfortable. He's got to be in that zone right now where a lot of the initial pressure and nerves are gone. <coughs> he almost stalks the ball, Sid. An interesting fact in the make of, of pool players is they, uh, I wouldn't say they were grudging in praise, but they do not dish it out lightly. And, and I don't think any sport I've ever covered from darts to domino toppling have I ever heard of anybody talked of in the vener venerable terms of this man. He is an all-round legend. Well, he's just given us an example that he does, in fact, have a pulse, and he is human. The first slight mistake in position, he's got to come up with a great shot here to get from the three to the four. You were saying, Jim, Never doubted it for a minute. Now it almost looks like he can pot this and screw between the nine and the six. Off the side cushion, back out for the orange five. And certainly if Francisco even gets a chance and the way Reyes is playing, I don't know if anyone thinks we're gonna see Bustamante play another shot in this. But he's been sat down for so long, how could he possibly feel like he still had a touch for the table? His concentration level, it almost looks like he's playing every shot with Reyes to try and maintain that high focus that these players need. And I suppose in one sense, he has to do that, Sid. He's gotta maintain that and hope and pray almost for that one mistake to let him back in. Doesn't look like coming though, because you ran a very similar game. He did eight racks from 7-3 down to beat Suke. This then for 9-3 to put him two away from the final. <laughs> Mr. Manny scratched off a break. And now the Maestro is 9-3 up. Can Buster answer? Will he get a chance? Francisco Bustamante led this match. Three racks to one. He scratched off of the break. Little was he to know that he has still not had another chance to get back to the table, and he is trailing nine racks to three. Efren Reyes, the magician only needs two more racks to book his place in the final. You know, John, you and I were sitting out there in the stands watching the first part of this match, and I've just never seen anything like it. This is why he is probably the greatest nine ball player, the greatest pool player that ever lived. Doesn't play on all of the world tournament scene now, though, Efren Reyes. He still has that respect. We've said that throughout this week. 96 players came here for this tournament, and the majority of them put Efren Reyes as their favorite player. Well, at the beginning of this match, I was saying to you, John, that what this is about for Efren is to assert once again his supremacy as the number one player in the Philippines. There's a lot more at stake here than money. But at this point, He's asserting his supremacy as the best player on the planet. It is very much like a, a master with his pupil, though. Francisco Bustamante is, is well regarded as the current best nine ball player in the world, but there's nothing he can do against this. This is just a lesson from his previous master, is it not? This is the best nine ball I've ever seen on TV. And I was there racking the balls when Earl Strickland ran the 11 racks. He didn't play this good. He made four nine balls on the break. These have all been run outs from the break. Several of the racks have been extremely difficult racks. That's a very good point there, Jay. We have seen a lot of good runs in this tournament. A lot of the time when the balls are breaking easily. Now the balls aren't breaking easily here, but Efren is making some very, very difficult run outs look superb. 
supremely easy. He ran out of rack there earlier where he had to bank that two ball off the end rail. There was no shot. How he found that shot, I have no idea. This, this is just heavenly pool. This, this to go within one rack of a final place. Down goes the nine. Efren Reyes continues this almost certainly best ever run of nine ball ever televised. I don't know what to say about this one, John. I'm speechless. This is the best pool I've ever seen by far. And I've seen Earl at his best. Well, he's got to come with a combination now, right from the beginning. That's the one right. seven. This could be the shot. I think he can see enough of the one to play the combination. But this is not easy. Believe me, at this point, Efren's not looking for any safeties. He's just shooting. If he makes this combination, it's all over. Oh. Well, the crowd appreciating that that run was just a phenomenal run from Efren Reyes. Bustamante smiles as he comes to the table. You think he can run eight racks right back at him? That would be something. Jay, if that was to happen, what sort of a match would we be watching? He's definitely got a great chance of running this rack. He's been sitting in that chair for 45 minutes. I'm surprised he can get up to the table at all. Well, these players saved their best for the last, John. Incredible games so far. Francisco Bustamante comes to the table. The last time he was at the table, he was winning three racks to one. He had the break. He was feeling pretty confident, in a good mood. Yeah, I'm in control here. Lost the white ball off of the break. And the next time he comes, he finds himself seven racks down. You know, Efren's been struggling all week. He did have that one match where he ran seven racks, but uh, he's been kind of spotty in his play. He's saved his best for last. This is vintage Reyes right now. That's right, Jay. We had heard throughout Efren had struggled all through the group stages, his early knockout games. He, he was just doing enough to get through, but he hadn't really had that fluency that Francisco Bustamante had been showing in the tournament. But every single player I spoke to said, just don't be surprised. Just do not be surprised if he just switches and turns on and runs a match. Well, we've seen it twice from Efren Reyes. But he does have the biggest break, doesn't he? The biggest break in nine ball pool. Unquestionably. This break that we're watching here. up a little tough here on the one ball, John. Oh yeah, he got the power, but you could see there he got a little deep into the into the cue ball, and that means that he hasn't been able to stop the cue ball into the center-ish of the table. He's come back and um, really has left him no shot on the one. He wants to shoot the one ball all the way down in the lower right corner. Like, can I show you on this one here? All the way down here into this corner. That's where he wants to shoot the one. He doesn't really want to play safe here. It's well, there just is no safety against these two guys. He that did play safe. safe. That looks safe, but <laughs> don't be surprised if Efren just kicks out of this and pots it and clears out and runs again. Frankly, I'm surprised. He didn't shoot at the ball because I don't think you really want to let Efren come back to the table anywhere. Efren will kick three rails and hit this ball. But the brilliance of Efren, Efren will go here, there, 
and here and hit this ball. But Efren not only plays to hit the ball here, John, he plays to knock the one ball away and leave the cue ball hidden somewhere behind other balls. That's how clever he is and how skilled he is. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And as you can see, he didn't leave Francisco a shot. Well, I think Francisco might be forced into or tempted by the bank here into the top left-hand bag. I think he needs to take this opportunity. He's either banking or he, he's cutting it in the upper right corner. He may cut it straight down the table here, right along the rail, just like that. Missed it rather badly, actually. Well, Jay, I, I think that was possibly a harder shot than the bank there. The, the bank would clearly pass. Chance here for Efren. I mean, there's no easy shot, but he could bank the ball back into the side bag. Is that what he's looking at to come right, bring the white around the table? No, it doesn't look like he is. He might be banking it into the top left-hand corner. Well, a safety. Another safety. safety. Another safety. Yes. He doesn't need to take chances, of course. Efren berating 10 racks to four. Yeah, Efren doesn't want to take any chances here. And Efren's got all these weapons in his arsenal. Not only can he run out from anywhere, but he plays the best safeties of anybody, and he kicks the balls better than anyone. Well, it's a good escape by Francisco, but you have to think that the chances of him coming back to the table with Efren in this form are slim. Nice opening here for Efren. He's got to gently roll the one ball in the corner pocket and let the cue ball just drift back up towards the middle of the table. Yeah, he was just looking there where he wants to leave the white for the two, and it seemed to be by his stroke there. They'd like to use the cue ball pretty much where it is now. I'm surprised if he draws this ball. I think he just needs to roll it in with center ball. We'll know as soon as he gets down on the shot, John. I often see Efren just do a little cue action in the air, which is mimicking what he wants to play next. You're right, he's drawing the ball back. Which means he can hit it a little bit firmer. Oh, it's a kill shot. They call that a kill shot. He uses low English, makes the cue ball die. It's a little more secure way of pocketing the ball. Nobody does it any better than Efren. That worked perfectly for him there. Nicely on the two into the side. Chances of Francisco getting back to the table, Jay? Not good. Only difficult ball Efren's got is the six, tied up against the seven. However, if he can get nice and straight on the five and just stun the cue, we'll leave it where the five is. He's got a perfect shot on the six into the center bag, so the five really helping his positional play onto the six. You called it exactly right, John. Just these five balls for a place in the final of the 1999 World Pool Championships. He hasn't shown his best form throughout the whole tournament, only when he needed to. That's the sign of a true champion. I feel sorry for whoever he plays in the finals, I'll tell you. They're in for a long afternoon. Or night, as the case might be. Well, he'll be up against either Ho Ping Chang or Fong Fang Chao, that all Taiwanese clash in the second semi final coming up right after this match. Both of those players very accomplished, but I think you'd probably have to say that Efren would be going into that final as favourite. Just these two balls to win the semi-final of the Philippines. An absolutely incredible match is now over. Efren Reyes in scintillating form beats his fellow Filipino, Francisco Bustamante, 11 racks to four. There was a run throughout, standing ovation in the crowd. Look at that, they, they are amazed by the pool that they have just seen.